going to start this half hour with sorting out who is included in phase 1B of this vaccine rollout. More than three weeks ago, the state announced that people who are immunocompromised are in phase 1B, but it never released a list of which conditions are included in that. So two on your sides, Kelly does it continues to push for answers this afternoon. Kate, this has left a lot of people hanging, especially people who are immunocompromised and under 65. They just want to know when they'll be able to get their appointments. On January 12th, the state announced people who are immunocompromised would be in phase 1B. On January 20th, with no list of qualifying medical conditions out yet, we did a story following up with the state asking when a list would be released. That was two weeks ago, and a spokesperson for the New York State Department of Health told me then, quote, we are constrained until the federal government steps up and provides more doses. With more doses on the way, the governor was asked about this during his press conference Tuesday. He said he talked with the new CDC director. The prior CDC guidance on immune compromised, and I don't know the specific difference between diabetes 1, diabetes 2, on what they decided, but it's about 4 million people in New York State. Uh, just to give you an idea of the scale, we're now at 7 million people. We only have 15 million people eligible. If you add 4 million people uh, immune compromised, you're at 11 million of 15 million, and you're still only getting 300,000 dosages per week. So it becomes a question of, okay, everybody's available. Nobody can get it. The governor said he didn't know what the CDC would decide. Today, I went to the New York State Department of Health and the CDC for answers. A spokesperson for the DOH told me they'd get back to me, but they did not answer my questions before our deadline. I never got a response from the CDC. The governor did say that if the Johnson & Johnson vaccine becomes available, that would increase the supply, and that would also maybe help with this backlog of Phase 1B. In downtown Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.